Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Life is really testing me today. I wanted to put on lashes, realized I have no lash glue, so I'm like, that's fine. You know, I'm just gonna put on mascara. Finish putting on mascara and then I sneezed. And of course it got right on my face. And I was like, no, it's okay, Shani, it's okay. Clearly, life is trying to test you today, but you keep going, you start that video and everything's gonna go your way. And that's all I have to say bars but as you can see by the title today i'm bringing you guys affordable skincare options i'm not gonna lie my skincare arsenal is pretty pretty high end you know we like making investments on skincare but pixie um la roche posay milani there's some affordable brands that i do mix in and you know you can certainly have a arsenal of skincare products that are not all high end so you know kind of the point of this video if you were looking for any products that you could add that i've tried i've used for quite quite a bit um so you know like i've had enough time to see that any of this stuff works for me, if you were looking for any of that, then just stay tuned. This is the first thing I have here. It's from Pixie. It's their Hydrating Milky Collection. It's six steps. It literally tells you, you know, one, remove, cleanse, peel, um, tone, treat, moisturize. And I thought, you know, like it'd be cool to just use this for 30 days and see, you know, just using this um, set, this treatment, um, what it would do since it is an affordable skincare brand. But the one that I actually want to mention in this video is the very first one. It's their Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover, which is this right here. I've had a good, um, I've used a good little chunk for the, what is it, like two weeks that I've had it now? Something like that. Um, it's a really good makeup remover. Uh, if you use the, if you're the person who goes in before like the cleanser with the uh, micellar water or anything like that or makeup wipes, um, this is a really good option for that. It does a really good job of removing your makeup. I wanna do a, um, a TikTok, an Instagram, not live uh instagram tv type of video where i go through all six steps so i am going to do that and you'll see how this removes the makeup next product is also from pixie it's their rose tonic rose and elderflower nourishing toner the glow tonic the orange one you see how this one is pink the orange one is probably like one of the most talked about pixie products it's affordable it, it's a great toner but i like this one and i feel like rose in your um like an ingredient in your skincare products is voice um has been more trendy or i guess like more people have been talking about it being a good ingredient in your products in the last like year or so um but i use this for those days where i'm doing more exfoliating or i'm using i don't want to say like heavy or exfoliating products because like you know i like i, I don't want to push the idea of over exfoliating your skin but you know just those days where you use peels or or like that baby fat facial that i use from ula henriksen um those type of products the acids all that stuff those days i use like a rose toner i don't want to use um an exfoliating toner and then go in with exfoliating products you guys see what i'm saying there and again no affordable like a retinoid that's what i would say like you don't want to use this and then use a scrub cleanser and an exfoliating toner, put this on your face, then use an exfoliating serum, and I don't know if they make them, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do like an exfoliating oil on your face on the same day, if you love your skin. So that's when I break out like the rose toner, but this is the La Roche-Posay Effaclear Once Daily Topical Retinoid. I was using the Sunday Riley Retinol Serum. It was, a Sunday. it was either Sunday Riley or Mirror Red, and then I um, started using this, and I, this is what I use, like, go-to. And again, it's Roche Posay, so more affordable. Weird little fact or fun fact, I went to the launch event for this product, and, you know, they had dermatologists there, and they were saying, you know, like, acne products or acne preventing products don't actually, you know, like, kill acne. And I'm sure, you know, like, anyone will... Um, if it's not true, even though a dermatologist said it, you know, I'm sure they'll let us know in the comments. But they were like, acne or those type of products don't kill acne that's like already on your face. So you know how like some people might get a breakout and it's like, oh my God, I gotta do this and do that and do that on it. Um, they said like, th those products don't do that. Like once it's there on your face, it's there on your face. You just gotta wait for it to go away. But the point of those products is to get into your skin to prevent other breakouts. From happening you know like they show like all the layers uh that you have in your face and how um like 
the the process of a breakout happening on your face it's in motion for a minute before it actually shows on your face what does that have to do with this video like i guess pretty much nothing but i just thought like that was kind of cool you know because i feel like we in our heads we just think you know like oh i woke up and here's this breakout on my face but like really it's been it's been in the in the works for a minute also from la roche pose this is their clear skin dry touch sunscreen i mean we should be using sunscreen year rounds but if you haven't we're getting into that time of year where at least just break it out now all right just just do it um i was using their other sunscreen i think it's called clear sun i've shown it before um and then they came out with this one i was like oh wait a minute i want to go i want to go use this one um this especially being someone who is a deeper complexion a sunscreen can be and eh, because it's like i want to wear it because like you know i i like my skin but a lot of y'all just be doing my skin tone wrong with the ashiness you know it turns your skin gray purple anything like that i don't have any of those issues with any of the sunscreens i've tried from this brand um and you know like, like i said like i'm gonna wear sunscreen i do have one or two one from laura mercier which you know is a little bit pricier and then one from dermalogica which again is another pricier brand so affordable and the last product i have is the milani green goddess cannabis glow oil you guys remember i picked this up earlier this year in my ulta haul um i also have the milani lip scrub but i think that makes it like six products in this video it was five yeah um i i i am a little shocked because I, I don't know, I guess I just, you know when you associate a brand with one thing and then they do something else and you're just kind of like, I wasn't expecting your skincare to be on par with your makeup, but it is, or, you know, vice versa, stuff like that. So I always knew you know, Milani as a makeup brand. So I, I don't know, I just never really checked for their skincare products. But let me tell you something, like, you, you know a product's working when even you guys start pointing out, like, you've been doing something different. I got that comment a while ago. I don't know if I responded to you directly. If I didn't, my bad, you know, like, attention span is just not there for me. But um, if you were the person who said that, it was, it was most likely this product. This, um, it's one of the only few oils that I have found doesn't irritate my skin. I've got sensitive skin. I also have oily skin. So oils, like I really got to find ones that work with my skin type. Um, so it's one of those. It's an oil that looks great under makeup. Again, oily skin. So people usually tend to not want to put on an oil before they go in with their makeup but it still looks great under my makeup um and if you don't want to wear it under makeup like during the day it's a great oil to put on at night during your nighttime skincare routine i just feel like my my skin looks don't mind my skin right now you know it's it's that time of the month if you've noticed like that there um but my skin is just looking so much better once i started using this so daily and um daily certainly a daily product now and um, the lip scrub is good as well it's not too abrasive i don't have it i'll put up a picture because i really don't feel like getting up to get in it's right there um it's it's not too abrasive on the lips it doesn't feel like you know you're taking a layer off of your lips as well so i was just like okay okay Milani, i see you and yeah those were all the products that i had to talk about in today's video those are really the only two and i guess one new brand so three brands in general that make products that i've found work for me if you have any other affordable uh products or uh brands that you know like they listen all their products hit definitely leave them in the comments down below because you know like we're at a time where it never hurts to save money like if you don't have to spend a lot of money, there's really no reason for you to do that. So if you have any other ones, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I hope the ones that I threw out in this video um, were of interest to anyone who is watching. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and um, make sure you uh, look out for that video of me using the entire system. I'm probably going to film it like right now, like right after I wrap up this video so I can take off this makeup.